So hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Fang Chen, uh, from National Tsinghua University. Uh, I'm currently the distinguished professor with the uh, uh, Department of Engineering and System Science. So today, I'd like to share with you uh, one uh, invention in the past year about ultra-sensitive and also rapid detection of COVID-19 virus by using the dual-camped surface enhanced Raman scattering nano sensors, we call the DC search sensors. So this work was supported by Academia Sinica COVID-19 research project and also NTHU COVID-19 prevention program. So talk about the COVID-19 uh, outbreak. Uh, actually, so since uh, 19, uh, 2019, uh, so the COVID-19 outbreak has caused uh, more than 200 million uh, uh, people worldwide confirmed uh, uh, infected and also the mortality cases are more than 5.5 million. Even in Taiwan, we also have some uh, many uh, confirmed cases and also mort mortality around 800. So for the COVID-19, uh, SARS uh, COVID-2 uh, virus is considered many different kinds of uh, uh, different proteins, including the S protein, uh, that means a uh, spike surface glyco protein, a small envelope protein, E protein, a matrix protein, M protein, and also the nuclear capsid protein. And protein. So that's why in the past uh, couple uh, years, uh, people try to find a different way uh, to do the uh, detection, uh, try to uh, see uh, the infection conditions. Uh, so not, so in addition to the vaccines, uh, currently we have been put into the human body for uh, try to prevent uh, the virus infection. But also after the infection, we still need a very good and rapid test kit. So that's why we want to develop the, this kind of rapid detection method uh, for the rapid detection. So talking about the COVID-19 rapid test uh, kit in the market, uh, currently we can see uh, the gold standard is still the RT-PCR based uh, uh, technology. Uh, so if we uh, uh, set it as a 100% accuracy, so it's gold standard, so standard, so we can, all the technology will be compared with the uh, RT-PCR. So uh, the question is for RT-PCR is very accurate and also the sensitivity is pretty high. Uh, so for the CT value, uh, even up to 40, uh, still can do the detection. However, the waiting time is long, usually uh, two to so, uh, three to four hours. Uh, and also the cost is high, uh, usually it's uh, cost around 4,000 NT dollars per test. So that's why in the market, so people try to, uh, if you want to do the rapid testing, so we, we need to uh, further decrease the time, detection time down to uh, 30 minutes, even down to 10 minutes. So that's why in the United States, many uh, companies develop the uh, nuclear acid types of uh, the detection method and uh, reduce the waiting time to 30 minutes. However, uh, the cost is not uh, that much reduced and also the city sensitivity has been reduced from 40 down to 37. So in addition to the uh, PCR nuclear acid based detection, so if you want to do even faster uh, testing with a lower cost, so antigen based, I mean the proteins are found the uh, virus detection is also uh, important and developed by many countries and also many uh, different uh, companies. So for example, uh, in the list here, so from the Roche, from the Fora, from the Intel Swap, uh, these several different kind of product uh, has been developed in Korea, Taiwan, and USA. So the different waiting time can be reduced down to 15 minutes and also the uh, accuracy can be more than 90 percent and also uh, the uh, the time the cost can be reduced uh, down to like a 10 US dollar per test however the CT value has been reduced down to uh, 30 that means the sensitivity is much much worse so why is a uh, sensitivity is much lower uh, uh, let's take some example of the testing uh, Basically, they are based on the uh, test strips for the testing. For example, uh, they're using a modified antibody or antigen uh, for the uh, virus uh, to coat on the surface of, of gonial particles. And when they accumulated in certain kind of area, in the G area of the strip, so we can see the color change in that uh, local region. So this kind of detection can be very, very rapid. So in 20 minutes, so we can get the results. However, the detection limit, as we mentioned earlier, uh, will be uh, decreased uh, to CT value 28 to 30, roughly. 
So it's around 20, uh, 62.5 neogram per meal. So that's a problem. So can we uh, still keep the same uh, uh, detection time, uh, reduce the detection time, however, uh, to get the accuracy similar to the PCR-based technology? So that's why uh, try to use different technology to improve the sensitivity is quite urgent. So in our COVID-19 diagnosis, uh, by using the DC search, uh, the new invention from uh, our lab. So uh, the diagnosis is quite easy, uh, includes three steps, from sampling, reaction, and an, until analysis. It takes only 20 minutes. So first we take the uh, samples from the nasal or from the spontan and get into a uh, mix with uh, our uh, nail particle, such particle inside a petri dish incubator. Uh, and also then we can introduce uh, directly onto our chips. Our chip is a, a DVD uh, surface related uh, structure chip. So then we don't need uh, any uh, sample preparation and the washing process. After 20 minutes, we can do the detection on the portable Raman uh, uh, diagnostic uh, uh, Raman uh, meter. So we can finish up the uh, diagnosis in very short time. So uh, the total detection time is 20 minutes and the sensitivity uh, can be up to 37, the city value. So it's very close to the uh, commercial available PCR uh, testing machine uh, with the portable uh, size. And it's quite cost effective. So each test will cost only 10 US dollars. So why uh, we can we can get this kind of uh, uh, improvement and also the effectiveness? Because um, the dual clamp, the search assay, uh, has enabled this kind of technology possible. So the features are including uh, the faster detections coming from the fast response by Raman signals. So it's only take a uh, 10 minute, uh, 10 seconds we can get the Raman signal. So the, the total time 20 minutes, including the incubation time between our, our sensors, uh, including the sensor surface and the sensing particle, uh, conjugate uh, with the target antigen from the virus. So it's a, uh, it's a it's so called one part reaction process. That means once they uh, meet together, they form a, uh, a cluster or get it onto the source surface so they can enhance the signal uh, many, many times. So in this case, uh, because the source signal can occur only in the very uh, uh, narrow regions, like 10 nanometer regions to give the signal. So that's why the background can be much reduced. So we can get a very, very low uh, background noises, uh, but very high uh, in enhancement of signal in very short time. The second one, the sensitivity is pretty high because uh, the search signal is not coming from the aggregate uh, particles or from the surface only. Uh, we are from the double clamped structure, including uh, the clamping between the particle and the rough surface together. So they can enhance the signal uh, even like a thousand times higher than the traditional Raman signal. So that's why our sensitivity can even go up to 37 if you do uh, some uh, special arrangement. And also uh, we use uh, a double, the very mature technology, uh, the DVD uh, surface structure uh, coating with uh, some kind of metal and combined with a uh, very mature the neoparticle fabrication. And then those uh, uh, things can be fabricated quite quick, uh, quickly and also mass production. And combined with a portable Raman uh, meter, so we can uh, have this uh, uh, device uh, developed and also uh, fabricated uh, in very short time. So that's a uh, major features of our uh, DC search system. So uh, before we go to the final results, so I will show you some uh, preliminary results about the detection. Uh, first, we try to use a pure COVID-19 antigen to test our DC search uh, uh, device. So uh, in this experiment, we did like a M protein, S protein, these two types of proteins uh, from the COVID-19. And with the detection limit uh, from one neogram up to five neogram respectively. So for the NRS protein, so the detection limit can go down to one neogram. Uh, if we put the, uh, the uh, introduce the, uh, the, the proteins uh, is on the surface of like a virus like the particles, so the digital limit can be increased a little bit to five neogram per millimeter. 
So in addition to the pure uh, samples, we also uh, try to uh, spike uh, the particles, uh, very select particles into saliva, uh, into our uh, mouth water uh, together. And also the, the detection li limit can be also uh, down to five nanograms per meal. So it's, uh, the detection limit does not ch change, does not affect it by the saliva uh, protein. So, uh, so the the good thing is that because uh, we're using dual source uh, AC, so they can uh, clamp the virus into very narrow region. So that's why we can uh, keep the similar sensitivity without too much sacrifi uh, uh, sacrifice. So talking about the specificity of DC source can be a very high specificity. Uh, in this experiment, we expect not only the uh, COVID-19 uh, virus like a particle, but also influenza A virus and also the other protein like BSA proteins into the solution. So we can find out the, from the, uh, the chart. So the uh, sensitivity, the specificity can be very, very high. So uh, for the influenza A virus or BSA, we got a very low signal uh, in the detection, uh, final cell signal. Uh, so for, for example, the BSA is uh, 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 the, the orange uh, bar and also the influenza A virus a virus is uh, uh, the gray bar. So you can see the detection uh, signal is pretty low. When, when they compare uh, to the S protein or uh, virus like uh, uh, proteins uh, uh, with um, even 10 times or 14 times higher uh, than the detection limit. So that means the specificity of sensor is pretty good. And in conclusion, so uh, in this uh, 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 introduction, we have uh, introduced a novel COVID-19 SIRS-based uh, test. So uh, we demonstrated the nanotechnology and also DVD-related nanochip uh, synergy together to cre create a dual SIRS uh, effect. So we call it DC SIRS, the like dual clamp SIRS. So they can enhance the signal uh, to 10 to 9 times. So that's why the CT value for the detection uh, can be ranging from 33 to 37 which is uh, uh, quite compatible with our current PCR gold stand, golden standard in 20 minutes. Uh, because the process is in one part process, so we don't need to do the washing process. And also we can use in a portable Raman reader uh, to give the read. So the dual source assay also are over a very competitive cost. Uh, can down be down to 10 US dollars or 300 uh, Taiwan dollars and can be uh, do the mass production uh, quite quickly. Uh, by using the mature new particles and the DVD technologies. So this concludes my talk, and thank you very much for your attention.